Okay, boys and girls, here we go. Here we go. Beautiful, 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 sparkly sunset. And here is for my buddy Hank and for other disciples that are serious. Here is the overview, the disciple house. Nice setup. Ready, steady, go. Come on, choo choo train. You know, come on, let's do this. Disciple house, nice setup. You want to set your house up? This is specifically for my buddy Hank and for house churches and for people that are serious, especially people that are coming out of the Mission Teens, Mission Bible Training Centers. They want to figure out, out how to set things up for their kids, for their friends, for the newcomers and do it right. This is just beautiful ideas that have come to me over the years. I did not have goofy, happy parents, laughing and singing in the Holy Spirit and staying tuned up in the soul. I didn't have regular honesty to male human beings were saying, okay, everybody, you know, how did you, how did you do something dumb since our last communion? Come on, we want to stay as clean as the day of our baptism. Okay, here we go. Nice setup. First of all, the special holy box on the wall. That is the box that put first names in. Just you holding the first name of a suffering person in your hand, using the name of Yeshua and the mention of his blood, that has supernatural effects that you cannot see. We are collecting first names of people wherever we go. We're not telling people to join our club and, and dress in our style and follow us specifically, but we are able to show that our communications with the friend, with the spirit of loving kindness, with the, with, with the life giver spirit, our communications are strong. And just taking one name, no information, no details, and pouring out care over that name is a powerful thing. Your children can learn how to do that. Then there's a box on the wall that is the honor and love and compassion and care and blessing box for all of the sisters and the daughters and the women and the wives and the aunts and the mothers and the grandmothers. The woman form is the greatest gift to the entire universe. The woman form. And this is a special box. That I'll go into detail on it, but it's basically two long boxes with with compartments or one long box with compartments, 14 compartments. And in those little compartments are notes, joyful notes, encouragement notes written to the female human beings who happen to be in their cycle or doing service like breastfeeding and taking all the time, the body of the woman is a gift to the man. The body of the, of, of the woman is, is an ecstatic, delightful, amazing, comforting, satisfying thing to the man body. The woman form deserves extra attention. And I, I have personally designed from Leviticus 15 and Leviticus 12 a way of permanently blessing all the women in the house as they grow up. They understand that the whole family has taken time to write down beautiful things about women and about them specifically. The woman box. The rack for fabric and shawls. If a man prays or prophesies with his head covered, it's as if the veil of the temple were not torn and were still stuck in the system of the tabernacle and the temple and the Pharisees and trying to get saved through the law. The rack of fabric and shawls is so that when we come in in the special closed time, communion time is a closed time. That's when only the serious who have confessed their sins to, to one another before God, the male human beings, honest before God and before one another, the women and children can admit their faults to the men at home. But the rack 
for fabric and shawls is so that when we come together, the men can have a happy blanket, a prayer shawl, a, a prayer blanket on his shoulders, and the woman can have one over her head, as it is written. The things that are written are going to judge you on the final day. I would be worried about that. I've literally seen, when my mother started covering her head, I took off like a spiritual rocket ship. Stup supernatural stuff happened in my life. I started healing people. I started getting discernment of spirits when my mother was covering her head. And in my tribe, all the time covering is okay for some people if they really want to. The way I read everything, the early Christians looked really just like the Greek and Roman culture around them. They did not wear a special costume. You could not pick them out in the crowd. So the primary thing is when we come together in our supernatural closed meetings to literally supernaturally connect with Yeshua and put his supernaturalness inside of us. No, not transubstantiation, just by our faith. These elements of juice mixed with water and bread, wine mixed with water and bread, these elements become for us the body of bl and blood of Jesus inside of us. It's a food for the invisible soul and a food for the physical body, and it scares the demons away from us. They're terrified. When we honestly purify and cleanse our consciences and put communion in us, that's the, the rule. Read 1 Corinthians 11. If you take a communion in an unrighteous way, or if you're hanging out with a bunch of unrighteous people that have unconfessed sins and a lot of junk in their lives, it's not good for you. You might get sick and die. So the rack for the fabric and shawls is fun. That's just a fun, happy part of the house. Come on, come on. Here we go. Okay. Equipment and elements for the Eucharist. The U Eucharist means the thanksgiving. Oh my gosh, thank you for salvation. What's the equipment that you need? You need wine and or grape juice or kosher grape. And you need bread or crackers or matzah. And you need water for the mingled cup. And you need, if you want, like as an extra, milk and honey mixed. We like to lift up a cup of milk and honey and say, I anticipate the sweetness of heaven. The mingled cup is very special. These are, this is just equipment. Equipment in your house, in your apartment. Be prepared to be the disciples. Power, power, power. Okay, the library. Now, there's all kinds of really important stuff, including the miracle stories. We like to have a copy of A Dictionary of Early Christian Beliefs, which is possibly one of the most important books next to the Bible that you can own. A Christian, a Dictionary of Christian Early Christian Beliefs. And... All of the videos by Darren Wilson, Wanderlust Productions, gives you a picture of the supernatural. And The Beginning, a movie by The Last Reformation, Torben Sondergaard. And Like a Mighty Wind, the Indonesian revival in the 1960s. All kinds of stuff about the supernatural. And then tons and tons of other things. The, an interlinear, you know, the concordances, a bunch of library, a library in your house. If the internet goes down, it's good to have hard books to sit there with people and read, read out loud, physical books. Okay, the blessing boxes for men and brothers. Now listen, there's another thing that I've put together from Leviticus 15, where the men are blessed by the entire family. The man has a, the man has a flow and the woman has a flow. And then another block box, the pleasures box. Remember how the wicked demons get license from God over our minds and emotions. When the bad spirits can see us chasing after our pleasures and not caring for the suffering, when the bad spirits can see us involved in our little passions, like whatever, polishing our wheels, when there's other, other things to focus on, you know, maintenance is not bad. The pleasures, the passions... The things that we hate, the things that bother us, all of our emotional things are what the demons are trying to get license over. Okay, the calendar, Eucharist, a closed Eucharist two or three times a week, if not every night, an open house agape feast, open study with 